And the new OP08 leader for Calgara had a bunch of controversy when it was first announced. A lot of people thought it was dead on arrival with the SR of the deck actually being a six drop vanilla, which did not sound good. Well, now that it's out for a couple of days, weeks, how is it holding up? Well, here we go. Today I'll be giving you guys my deck profile for Calgara. We're going to be going over the leader, the utility, the events, the 2Ks, the attackers, and the overall playstyle. So let's go ahead and get started. If you guys like these sort of videos, please like and subscribe. This is a pretty new channel and I would like to see it grow. So let's begin with the leader. Link in the description if you want to learn how to make your own proxies. All right. So here is Calgara. He is a 5,000 mono yellow leader with 5 health, Jaya, Sky Island, and Chindorian Warriors. The ability is as follows. When one dawn is attached and when then when attacking, put a character with the Shindorian Warriors type from your hand into play that has a cost equal to or less than the number of dawn you currently control. Then if you played a card, put the top card of your life into your hand. So at the moment, there is a pretty good number of targets for this car uh, for this effect. And we'll go ahead and talk about how it plays. So let's begin with the attacker cards. There is a very good amount in here. Here. Let's get started with the lowest to highest cost with starting with holy 351 animal sky island came out op05 so pretty good card good vanilla however it combos obviously with the ohm card 451 if you have two or less life this character gains 1000 power on play look at the top five cards then you grab a holy then you place the rest on the bottom in any order. Then you play one up to holy in your hand. So if you already have a holy in your hand, great. But you can go ahead and search for even more to put down. So if you're able to get your starting hand with these guys, then you have a pretty good starting aggro and board. Next up, it's going to be Wiper, part of the new strategy we have in this deck. So this guy came out in OP06. 570 counter on play you may return a one cost stage to the bottom of its owner's deck so this is pretty important for the matchup so obviously you want to use it with your own stage that we're going to be talking about here however there's a bunch of one cost stage that other players might do you know for example rage you or something like that and you can look at the you can go ahead and put that away then you can go look at the top five cards reveal up to one upper yard or shindorian warrior upper yard is the stage and Sindoria Warriors are all of these cards added up to your hand then return the rest to the bottom so it's it's a it's an okay card and just remember every single Shindora Warrior can be put out with one dawn once you have enough on the field so this is a pretty good aggro play if you're able to get it on the turn then it comes out so we're running just a couple of these next up we're running aces here these are from ST13 Five, seven. If you have two or less life, this character gains rush. It's white beard. It has no synergy with the deck, but it's a brush card and it's a surprise for the enemies. Next up, we're going to be running these Mont Black Norlands. This is probably the one of the uh, two pieces of the deck that is super important in any Calgar in any Calgara deck as of right now. So it's a five six one counter, Jaya Botanist. So yeah, Jaya. So right now in this deck, this is not searchable as of OPO8. There is nothing to do, but hopefully you grab this from your life or from a draw. But this is a super important card. If your leader is a warrior of Chandra and you have a Kalgara character in play, add up to one card from the top of your deck to your life. So if you're able to get the Kalgara character out using the one Dawn, and it's going to be a six cost, letting you know right now, it's a six cost vanilla. So the, the, the best sign of turn that earliest that you can probably play this on is going to be either on turn six, you put this on and the next turn you drop this to heal. Or if it's go if, if you have seven Dawn, you go ahead or sorry, if you have six there, if you have six Dawn, you're going to go ahead and put one Dawn on him, attack, put this guy out, and then you get to play this for six total dawn so this is the earliest that you can play when you have six dawn and both pieces in your hand so very powerful thing to keep you alive especially when your leader already has five health you are very sturdy so yeah these two together make up the whole point of this deck right so six eight one kalgara jaya sky island shandorin warrior right now jaya is not searchable by anything sky island is searchable by some uh by ashura in this deck 
and of course Shinchandian Warrior is searchable for some other stuff and the leader ability. So these are your kind of win cons to keep you alive and kind of flood the board a little bit. But if you don't grab these, it's going to be tough. It's going to be really tough if you don't grab any of those. Then for the late game, if you're able to just get there, we have these other aces. 10-10-0, this is OPO 7 on play, add up to one card from the top of your deck to your life. Then if you have two or less, this character gains rush. So it's just a much more powerful version than the other ace here that we have. So these two are just tech cards that help you win the game with rushes if you end up getting there. So these are your attackers. Let's move on to the 2Ks. There's an okay amount in this deck. We'll start off with these Frankies. 452, nothing special, but on trigger, you draw one card no matter what. But also, if you have one or less life as another requirement, you get to play this card from your hand, which is very good. Okay, so we're in two of these. The reason being, this is not searchable by anything. Next up, we're wanting some more new OP08 cards. 452, Wiper, Sky Island searchable, Shandied Warrior leader ability. On play, look at the top five, reveal one upper yard, add it to your hand. Then you get to play one upper yard from your hand. So yeah, you could technically play this card, but you kind of want to use it as a 2K instead. Next up, we have some more Sky Island cards, which is Satori 552 on trigger trash one to play. So obviously this one is way better. You get the draw card. If you have one or less life, you play it. However, because your Lido is so sturdy, there's a pretty good chance that you're probably going to trigger this while you have five, four, three life, you know? So that's why we're running more of these. I think I might want to switch to three and three, though. Three Satoris and three Frankies. It really does depend, depend on your play style. But yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're running ten. 2Ks. Now we're going to move over to the events of the deck. So we'll start off with this one. You're the one who should disappear. You may trash one card from your hand up to one of your leader or character gets 3000 power for this battle. This came out in OP06. On trigger, if you have zero lives, put the top card of your deck into your life, then trash one from your hand. So it's a searchable Sky Island card. There are a decent amount of uh, quote unquote dead cards in this deck. And they're going to be these wipers, these aces, which is six cards already. And then these other cards. So nine, you have nine pretty much cards that don't do anything in your hand if you're not able to play them. So we're running a couple of these, just three. Then for the defensive e event here called the earth won't lose another new card from OPO eight. One cost counter if your leader is Shandian. So this is the only deck you play, you can play this in. One of your leader or characters gains 3,000, which is pretty good. Then you play up to one upper yard from your hand. So it just keeps talking about upper yards, upper yards. So we're going to get to that in a second. Now for the utility cards, we have uh, eight of these in here. First of all, Shura from OP05. 221 on play, top five, one Sky Island. There is a very good amount of Sky Islands in this deck. Then you return the bottom to your deck in any order. The trigger is really good too, so this is a pretty good searcher card. So that's four. Now for the other piece of the deck that helps you search upper yard. So it's a basic, uh, basic stage. You can just play it on its own, but there's a ton of cards that allow you to just play it anyway. But yeah, basically on play, uh, look at the top five, reveal one sky Island, then add it to your hand then place the others on any order. So yeah, this is the deck. This is the Kalgara deck. It's a decent deck. And a lot, as mentioned at the beginning of the video, a lot of people thought this was dead on arrival because you like they were really hoping for a secret, a super rare Kalgara. But then we ended up getting a nice common one here. But as people did more play testing, they found out that, hey, getting this out for one mana on turn six is actually pretty nuts. You sure you hit yourself at the end of doing the effect, but you have five life to mess with. And if you're able to combo with this guy, you pretty much put it out for, uh, sorry, you put it out, you put it out for 
six mana total, you heal, and you have two strong bodies. This is pretty tough to deal with. You have to use a good amount of resources to get rid of it that early. If you go seconds, you get to drop this out as early as your third turn, which is kind of nuts. The only thing that's weak about this deck is if they're able to get rid of a lot of your cards, because you are playing pretty much early into six and five drops. Now, th this is the uh, this is a custom deck I'm using, and I decided we needed more late game, so I put more aces in here and more rusher aces just to spice things up a little bit but honestly if you want to be more defensive you want to live a lot more have more utility i would suggest maybe getting rid of these aces and maybe getting rid of these other aces and maybe put in some nine drops yamados so you're actually able to use this ability again at, at turn 10 if you need to and then you also want to drop some of the uh, i forgot the name of the guy uh, the, the five drop where you put down he's also a sky island and then he he ko's a character on the opponent's side equal to or lower than their health i forgot the name of that guy but he's also a pretty good card if you don't want to put in these um these aces here but we're just trying out these rush ones and this one also heals you at the end so you know there you go and as mentioned probably three frankies and three satoris because this this effect is so good if you're able to pull it off at one or zero it's just amazing you get card advantage and you get to play this card for free instead of the satori where you have to trash a card to play it and it's a freaking one less uh, one one cost less it's pretty good the only thing the only thing that's really good about this over obviously the frankie is that it's actually searchable but how important is search in this deck well it's actually pretty important you have four shuras you have four upper yards you go, you're going to be searching quite a lot then you also have these wipers as soon as you put this on play you get to return this to the bottom of your deck then search for upper yard or shandori warrior so there's a lot of searching going on in this deck so overall i'm very surprised with how well this deck has been doing in some tournaments if you go look up the latest ones they're actually placing pretty well so yeah kalgara hey man a lot of people thought it was dead but it's actually pretty fun i think the huge weakness like obviously the good the best strength is it's yellow with five it's pretty good he's not as strong as katakori you know getting seven thousand attack total per turn to attack with just one dawn but if you're able to get your pieces which is obviously going to be the mont black nolans norlands and the kalgaras in your hand you're good to go you're going to have a very good time so that is my deck profile let me know down below what you guys think about this one uh what cards would you add what cards would you remove and help me revise this deck for future videos thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe and like for more deck profiles please watch all of my duels i'll be using this and showing it off thanks and i'll see you guys next time bye